And we are back looking at the bracket. I just, I took a peek on Twitter from Nameless, and he's talking to Parasite. Phase we know, is now out of the bracket. Mm -hmm. You called this might happen. AR pulling it off. Doesn't surprise me. It's weird when you say that. Phase Red with their full lineup, a squad that I've been saying since this team came together should be going to the finals together. They're, they're out. AR versus TK now in our top eight. You see, we're going to see the winner of Phase Black and SB and Denial versus Elevate was still going on last time I checked. If you guys have any updates for us, let us know. Envy Orbit, though, that's the match I want to know what happened because Nameless is talking to Parasite. Are both teams out at this point? Are they done for the night? Is Orbit really moving into our top eight officially? That'd be Cray. Cray? Cray. Prophecy did beat Gurus as expected, so prop is locked right. in. We should give you the update there. And of course, we are watching Optic Gaming and Young Bloods playing for the first spot in the winner semifinals. Young Bloods coming out super hot, just shy of the 50 bomb was Temp looking so good. Uh, Huke and TJ also with over 40 kills, and on the other side, Scump and Nade Shot were top in the leaderboard with Krim and Formal really struggling in that first hard yeah, point on retreat. Scump almost dropped 50 kills himself, and Nade was 48. three kills yeah. off 40, so... But, What's going uh, on, man? What's going on with the bracket today? I feel the more 5Ks we've done, the more crazy results we've received. You think? If you look at a monthly cycle, like once a month, I feel everything that's supposed to happen kind of happens. Okay. In terms of the seeding. You get a kind of expected result. You're but one other, through four in the semis. Right. Right. But then for three weeks in that month, you just see chaos. chaos. Like, like if Envy's out already, Faze's already out. That denial elevate game's currently going on. Do elevate pip denial there? That could be, that could be crazy. That was in a game four last time we checked in. Yeah, they were going to uplink. I'm curious to see the result of that one. See if uh, anyone's anyone's mentioned that in um, the Twitter sphere. GG's denial. No, that was, close that was earlier. Was. Octane tweeted that one out. No, that was that was right. You think? Well, scroll up, scroll up to wherever you just were. Whoa there. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. Right, sorry, sorry. Come on, Abbott. Ah, you right, you right, you right, you right, you right. We good, we good. Don't worry. Of course, it's best of five though. Uh, yeah. Now. Uh, yeah. Elevate was down one two. That so. was twenty minutes ago though. That match. We'll see what's going on there. I'm I'm going to Spacely's to his stream. Don't worry. We're gonna get you that update. They in the game? Yeah, they're in cup back coupling still. Are so they winning? that must be overtime six six at the moment. Yo, let's full screen that. I'm gonna I'm a let's I'm full go, screen that. I'm gonna do all the nice things You're here. You're gonna though. do all the you gonna make it look yeah. real good. What did you just do? Alright. Uh nope. Alright. It looks like they're done. <laughs> so I assume denial is moving on. We just got a, a Yo, never, speed update there. Never assume. When you assume you make an ass out of you and me. Chris. I'm assuming. No. Otherwise, Spacey would be smiling. I mean, right now he ain't you smiling. Know. You dude. don't know that. You don't know that. My dude, wait, wait for wait for the Twitter feed to he, go crazy. He's angry. All right, so let's take a peek at that bracket one more time. Le bracket. I have a feeling it is denial coming through at the bottom. So are you calling Face Black or SB right here? Who gets into your top eight, Ben? Again, I I will say Face Black, but if you tell me SB wins, I'm. Not gonna be so kind of confused. Why? Um, just because it it's the same thing that we saw earlier on with AR Phase. Both teams are pretty good. You would expect Phase to come out on top, but SB could definitely win that if it comes down to the maps that they they prefer. Apparently, yeah, there's some big arguments in the uh, Optic Gaming camp right now. Uh oh. Yeah. Um, oh, apparently Envy have to forfeit. Zuma's power went out and couldn't get back on. Oh, that stinks. That sucks. That's no fun for anyone. Zuma. That's really, see, that, that's there, really it's bad. It's snowing that like crazy here in New York but, today. But even so, that's the worst possible timing when you look at the big picture. Right. This is the last major online tournament before NA regionals. Yeah, you're going to have to this grind is, this some is the practice. And... Like, it's, all, well, it's all good playing eights. It's all good scrimming. But when you're playing in a 5K, this is when the real strats show. Right. Yeah, you got People money wanna, on the line. People want to win. It's a bracket format. Right. Best of three, best of five, official rules. You take it a lot more seriously. Obviously, you know, pros are going to take scrim seriously, but this is a little more serious. So to, to get kind of DQ'd due to that, I feel actually really bad for the, for the Emmy guys because today is a big day for those guys. 
Uh, in all honesty, Temp's gonna be rocked to IMI. We can go straight into the game, well, by the way. I like apologies. it. Let's go straight to it. Now, Temp has been the super slayer for this OG Youngblood squad coming into today. Didn't know what to expect out of him as he was kind of the least familiar face for me out of this group before, but he has really shined. TJ has been right behind him every game we've seen as well, and Hook has had a pretty strong day as well. Really, Chino, the only one who has been dropping enormous numbers. Chino actually just can completely destroyed FOMO. FOMO's about to check down that uh, C Temp. Temp's gonna challenge with an ASM-1. And I'm actually curious to know Temp's classes then. Looks like he's working overkill IMR-ASM-1 combo. See him in a minute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see now, him on the next spawn. Skump getting cleaned up, just pinned. 1-0. Good start for the OG Youngbloods. Did not out? Nah, Clay just got up for a minute. Oh. Yeah. Clay doing his Clay thing. I love Clay. Clay is one of the the smartest pro players on the circuit to kind of talk to about Call of Duty AW. Really good guy to hang out with after hours as well. He's such a chill dude. Entertaining. Like, I, I, I love Clay. I have a lot of respect for Clay. Um, he, he really will like break down a game. Like any any game you ask him about, he'll break it down to you in like a way that if he messes up, he's going to make sure he tells you that he messed up. Yeah. Krim, Krim's pretty good about breakdowns as well. But normally they're... <laughs> They're, they're quite more entertaining stories about dominance. Um, <laughs> Scump is on your screen at the start. It's going to get picked by Teach. Teach picks up two as Formal is dropped, and Krim will fall at the hands of Hook. So all up to Nate shot. 1v3 just picked up one on Teach. Has a player directly in front of him taking fire, and he's going to challenge. I have a question for you. Yeah. In all your years of eSports experience, has there ever been a team that has so much expectancy on their shoulders like this up to gaming? Line? Yeah, Final Boss when they brought on Neighbor back in the Halo was days. It, was it the neighbor, same? Though? Neighbor was like the scump of the scene. Just okay. ridiculous raw slaying action. You kind of had to coach them into the team strategy a little bit. Right. Okay. But they dropped Walshy, who was kind of the grandfather of the team, the the mind behind their strategies. So they, they dropped Walsh, brought on Neighbor. You thought this was going to be a ridiculously talented squad. They never got a championship together. That's that's crazy. Yeah. Because, you know, I'm thinking about it. A, a lot of people tweeted me and you uh, during that kind of last break when we were talking about the game's first game. I'm like, yeah, Nate and Krim starting to argue a lot. That's been a little thing which has, you know, occasionally occurred in the past. But when you add on all the pressure on this team going into Con Champs and Regionals, are they maybe getting a... I don't want to say... Ner nervous is the wrong uh, word. Not nervous, but maybe, maybe good, anxious. Man. No, uh, it, I mean, it sucks having that much pressure on you. That's what I'm saying. Like, you they have always had the pressure from your fans, team. but now, even because you're you've shown such win. dominance. Right, yeah. you're expected to win everything. So whenever you have a bad... If you're not perfect. Right, exactly. People will start talking, saying that you might not be strong enough. Look at, I mean, you've seen teams catch up, too. Teams aren't that what? far behind. Like, what? Denial can put up a great series against up to gaming. TK have. What if I told you right now that TJ almost has doubled the amount of kills the entire Optic team has? Well, when Nature is the only player that has a kill, and he has four of them, the rest of his team are dropping donuts. Seven kills for TJ, four for Optic Gaming. I don't understand how that's possible. This looks like a different team. Can we just watch TJ's screen? Like, how is this man so but, freaking good? You want, all right, I'm gonna. Just keep it on him all around. All right. I just want to know what is his role, like to die in prison this time. All right, it's a good role. Yeah, good role. I like that. Don't worry about it. He just got it. Scump, nervous with this bomb, is rotating all around the defender spawn. Has one player chasing. Will he be able to get this down? Hook's Hook. in a really good position to clutch one this on actually. Three. Hook's in a really good position because that's the first. He's gonna find the second too. If he gets oh, this kill, angle. this is gonna clutch. The angle no, with the controller is on. so tough. It's so frustrating that you can't just look directly right. underneath you. If he had got that second kill, he would have clutched that. Because he knows bumps down. He'll play the time. That was really good positioning from him, but Scump did a really good decision to just wrap. Luckily, Fomo managed to trade that kill. Nice dash, and he just turns on huge down. Yeah, who really ran out of bullets? Um, but still, two players, 0-4. How could Hook play that better? Yeah, the second kill. That, that was Drop it. down sooner? Nah, not really. It's just, as you kind of mentioned, it's one of those really horrible moments where you can't get the angle you want. When you try and drop down, you can't look down further enough. Mm. It's unfortunate. You could say, oh, maybe you should go to the Exo Slam, but after you get that first kill, he's going to die. Right. That was really the only thing you could do. A little unfortunate. But Temp, no, he is. IMR, isn't. man. I was, I was curious to see if he was using Overkill with the IMR, but no, he's just, he just rocking the IMR. He's just chilling with it. And we will see a player dropped over at A. That's Nate Shot chasing away TJ. So Bomb is at B in the hands of Temp. 
Rotation coming in, though, from Optic, and the players set up to defend for OG Youngbloods. Do they have a strong enough angle to protect this? Looks like they just lost the cover down low. That was Chino dropped by Scumpy, so now a two-on-four bomb still not planted. Hook so formal. He's just trying to hunt him down. He's going to be a little patient here about that. Fomo's got that pick, so Hook's going to be a little disappointed because he could have arguably challenged that. Now he's, he's in a horrible position. Oh, give it to him. No, he's dead. Not he's doing dead. it. He's dead. 3-2. So up the game, he's making a little bit of a comeback here in the S&D, and they've been able to do that by some smart team decisions. They're I, not getting the kills, but they're playing strategically very well in terms of the. you got to question that setup from this young bloods. You had if, if, Chino if, with his back totally exposed. Right. You had Hook nowhere in a position to trade if a teammate goes down over at B. Yeah. It, but then if they all won that 1v1 gunfight, they would just demoral like they would have won that round. If, if Hook could manage to get that sniper rifle shot off on right. formal, that round is going to be played very, very differently. It's just unfortunate that he wasn't able to do so. Now yes. there's the overkill class coming in from Temp. He's going to pull out the Moors. Shots going down in the middle, and it's going to be Optic winning that fight. Krim and Formal picking up two, and Krim will pick up a third. So all up to Hook, one on three situation. This is the third time he's been left to try and do this. So his teammates may be playing just a little bit too aggressive. He's going to miss that jump towards top three there as well. Bomb's going to go down today. Hook not in a good position at all. You got this, Hook. No, there's no way. 3-3, three, three, man. Looks like, it looks like the game finally just kind of woken up a little bit. Uh-oh. One on two. 30 seconds. All I think you need to do really is just make sure he doesn't ninja defuse. That's his only option at this point would be to ninja defuse. Because you've got nature going on the wide flank. Summon your inner Josh. Almost. <laughs> Josh. Except you don't have any distractions to help you here. Oh, Formal's going to peg him. Marker. That was unfortunate for nature. Oh, yeah, excuse me. Nade shot up top. So Formal, I was expecting him to come out and clean this up. Instead, right, it's Nade good. who's going to hit your round and <laughs> kill cam. Does, Not he do so a little, does he do a little 360? Give him some fly? Give him some zest? Through the legs? You ready for this? Watch this. Nah, this is going to be no, no zest. <laughs> no zest. Minimal zest. Minimal zest. Minimal. Double jump. Yeah, that's yeah. it. I, I, I give him a solid get. 5 out of 10 for style points. Is he at 6 kills or 8 now? I think he's at 6. 6. Eight. He's at 8. 8 and 3. 8 and 3. Yeah, All right. Well. Nade shot still pumping. Keeping his team in it. Remember last time I gave you a score update, Teej was 7 and 1. He's picked up 2 kills to 3 deaths since then. So nice job kind of silencing him. But that was due to his aggression. He was playing very aggressive. Optic kind of sat back and allowed him to push him and then managed to get his first picks. So now you see him, though, playing uh -oh. passively with that sniper. Formal going to get picked by Tej. Um, nice patience. Oh, this player actually pushing him. Yeah, he's going to fall. I, I like that play from TJ just to kind of change his pace. Now, 2v2. Did Chino deserve that kill? <laughs> Nate shot seemed to have died after rounding the wall. Oh, uh, well. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, Krim <laughs> and Skump left up against Chino and oh. Temp. Temp is going to pick up one big kill on Krim inside no the prison. And now you got Chino pinching over on Skump. So Skump in a 1v2, and we're going to see the finish come in from the OG Youngbloods, taking the lead once again after a fantastic start. Optic tied things up, but now Youngbloods pulling away once again. Again, that just came down to the difference in play style. Yeah. Playing a little slow. They work time favor as Chino just gets a nice headshot win that round but as i said optic kind of coming to life it was a very very slow start when three players a zero and four i believe it was yeah ah, it's not the start you want not so good um i want to watch formal formal okay. yeah he lost his sniper battle on the defending attack what is he going to do on the uh, offensive push first blood Given to TJ once again, so he's got to get frustrated. T See, th this is has the, his answer. This is the, the really weird thing. If you're going to send three players directly to the bomb site and one player through the middle to try and rush and get on the flank, you don't want to have a player using a battle do that. Because no. as you just saw, when it comes to those up close battles inside that prison cell, you're going to lose it. It makes sense, obviously, for the opening engagement, but if you're just going to rush it, you need an ASM1 for that gunfight. And Temp, nice use of the window, dropping down on Nate Shot, going to finish him strong. So, peekaboo. 11 and 6, TJ continues to impress, grabbing at least one kill per round. And we're going to load it up one more time. We're going to also see Denial versus Phase Black. Quick update for you guys. It looks like Phase Black has advanced Nate Shot on your screen to start things off on defense as we switch it back over to the attacking squad. Here's Chino with your bomb. Chino looking. Let's see if he can find a slither of someone. 
of that. It's gonna be scum. Action right. inside the prison already. You see lots of gunfire on the map. It looks like that player is going to be Temp pushing up with Hook. Well, Hook gets one, TJ gets a second. Two on four now. Nades on a wild flank here once again. Dun, 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 dun. But. Oh, I mean, well, there's one. Uh oh. One on four. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, I feel again. Shut down. All, all of that game, you kind of saw Nade running by himself at the flank. And whenever his teammates died. Just look he, was, he was just kind of like, there's no one there to trade. And look at I mean, his head. Traditionally, his teammates are going to lose his gunfights. So he's fine doing that. But today. Off day. They, yeah, it seems to be off one day. of the off days for the, for the green wall. wall. I mean, it happens to everyone. All right, 6 3. OG Young Gods TJ are looking animal. so good. The Young Bloods, excuse me. TJ, MVP <laughs> of the day, without a doubt. So far? Oh, yeah. 13 6. His. Ridiculous performance in Search and Destroy. He's been so consistent in hard point. What about Temp? Temp, he's Just been getting the promise. kills, but I gave it to TJ because TJ also is going massively positive. He dropped a 1.41, I think, in that first game. Mm -hmm. But he also mm -hmm. had 13 or 14 captures and, and the most defends on the team. Makes so sense. he's I running the so objective far. and getting the kills. Bear in mind, there's a lot of plays we haven't seen so far. Not seen any of the denial guys. Haven't seen any of the face black. Not sure right. how they're playing. But from the games that we spectated, 100% right. agree. All right. So, two games in the books. Both wins for the Young Bloods. We're going to commercial break after this. We'll bring you game number three. It looks like uh, we're going to see. Is it going to be a CTF or an uplink, you think? First of best of five, if I'm unsure. All right. Find out after this. Don't go anywhere.